You're not going in, sir. But the records show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using. Oh! Hey guys, you never know where you're gonna come across in the field. Kind of like this porta potty. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Today we're gonna kind of show you a video of some sovereign citizens. If you don't really know what those are, we'll talk more about that after. But they always make for some good content, and they pop up in court cases quite often, and they're always comical to say the least. In fact, in Arkansas, I probably serve quite a few sovereign citizens, so I have a little bit of experience directly dealing with them. And again, they're always uh, interesting to talk to and some of the things they believe. And we'll dive more into that, but check this video out and let me know what you think. Hello, Judge. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Edwards, this is the time and place set for your arraignment. Do you consent to have an arraignment by video conference? Uh, sir, is this an admir uh, maritime admiralty law courtroom that we're uh, processing me through? No, it's not. This is not a maritime admiralty law courtroom. I believe so. No. It is. Absolutely, it is. All courtrooms in this country are maritime admiralty law courtrooms that process people, aren't they? No, sir. That's false information. Well, either way, either way, this courtroom is trying to process me as state property. You see this fictitious name statement? Asher Edwards spelled in all capital letters. This is not my name. This name was issued to me without my consent, and you cannot legally process me through this courtroom with this uh, without this name in all capital letters that was issued without my consent. My name is spelled Asher Edwards, first capital, all lowercase, Edwards, first capital, all lowercase. And this is the birth name given to me by my parents, protected by the Constitution of the United States. Therefore, it is illegal for you to process me through this courtroom, so you guys have to figure out something else to do with me. The court will enter a not guilty plea on your behalf. We'll show time is not waived. Uh, we'll set this matter for pre-preliminary hearing within the statutory period. And I would like to see the gun. It said I had a gun. I've never had a gun. They're lying. Do not speak while I am speaking, sir. Edwards continues to plead his case, but to no avail. Court will set bail in the amount of $72,500. Mr. Hall has declined the service of the public defender, Your Honor. Mr. Hall, DUI, expired driver's license. Good morning. Sir, I haven't said for the court how I'm appearing today, well, sir. I'm not asking you yet. Just give me a moment, all right? I need to look at your record. Sir, today I'm appearing as the agent and settler for David Hall. Okay. Okay. Could you get Mr. Hall for me then, sir? Where is he? I go by that name, sir. My name sounds exactly like the defendant's, and I'm here to settle that matter today. So are you and David Hall one and the same person? I'm not a person. I'm an individual. David Hall is a person. I am a private individual. May I, may I say something else for the record, sir? Go ahead, sir. I appear here today as the settler, agent, not the person, but the individual. And I, I, I don't think I should have, you understand the so difference the between a person and, and an individual. Agent, and you're the individual, but you're not the person. Is that correct? Correct. Got correct. It. Let me, I'm going to write that down. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, the settler, the agent, the individual, and uh, maybe even the person, David Hall, uh, has been charged with DUI. So today, the court's going to say you're, uh, the settler, the agent, the individual's bond, and even the person's bond today, $10,000, because the settler, the agent, the individual, and the person continues to drive without a driver's license. Both cases will cause the settler, the agent, the individual, and even the person, David Hall, not to be able to be released from the Broward County Jail until further notice of the court. So. May I post bond, sir? Well, is there are any you, other? Are you may... asking me as the settler, the agent, the individual, or are you asking me as the person? Sir, I'm asking as the individual appearing before you today, the Wait, opportunity. Who are you speaking on behalf of right now? Sir, I don't understand that question. I well, believe that you're trying to confuse well, me now. I'm not the person, sir. Okay, well, I am see not the, the person, person, David Hall. Tell him he's not leaving jail either, all right? Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Down the middle. Let's roll. Get your Take the head off. Push them outside. So, I have, of course, threatened to find me if I were to wear a hat. We're not forcing. 
I think you misunderstood. It's the judge's authority when he comes back. If at that point he says he's in contempt, then then you have the authority. It would not have been an issue. Your choice is take the hat off. I'm trying to be as nice as I can. I can't. You're making threats. What's the matter with you guys, huh? Stand up, please. Sir Trudeau, this is you. Which one, please? Come on, being nice. Well, I'm not going to assist in my own arrest. I don't. I don't. You should take your hands off that man. Please stand up. I'm not going to assist in my own arrest. I'm not. I'm not asking you to assist. Do not hurt him. They're just leaving people alone, you know. They're considered like a real job. One where you don't use violence against people. I didn't know you were going to take my picture. I got a haircut. Good one. I'm glad you can make jokes. You have to go through the x ray machine if you want to come in this building. And I'd just like to know where your warrant is. It's clearly posted on the entrance building. What? Clearly posted that I have to forfeit my right to be free from unreasonable search and seizure? Yeah, every person is. I'm not a person. I'm a man. I'm not subject to your jurisdiction. And I'm, the court has already confirmed that. I'm here your for choice. one purpose. All right. You can, you can submit or you can leave. That's fine. Well, I mean, I'll do that, but, do. But, but you will be charged a bill. You that's will be served a bill. I don't have any weapons. I didn't come here to raise a ruckus. After clearing security, Peterson finds a seat at the rear of the courtroom and continues filming. So there are no cameras in the court. Excuse me? There are no cameras in the courtroom. Yeah, there is. No, you have to put that away. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Under what authority? There's a court, you have to have a court order from a judge before you can have a camera in the courtroom. Okay, well, I'm going to capture no, you can't. this on video. you got to turn it off. It's for both of our protection. Well, you have to turn it off. No, thank you. Shut the camera off now. No, thank you. I do not consent to you touching me or seizing my property, so you, you need to back up. Shut the camera off now. I'm not being, I'm not doing anything wrong. Yes, you I'm are. holding you accountable because you're about to overstep your bounds. What's your first and last name? I don't have a last name. You don't have a last name? No. And what's your first name? I don't have a first name either. I've got a name. My name is Robert. You can call me Robert. Who are you? Are you human? I'm a man. You're a human? I'm a man, yes. Can I see your Idaho state license? No. I don't have one. You don't have one? My person does, but I don't. Okay, Excuse me. Camera. Excuse me. You're blocking my freedom of movement. I am. All right. Well, Pete Barnes, you just admitted to me that you're violating my rights. No, I'm not. You can't come in with the camera. Well, you're violating my rights. And this is I'm also freedom of the press. From behind you. This is also freedom of the press. I mean, I don't know what the hell law book you're reading, man. But it doesn't apply to me. Why are you worried about cameras? Because you want to do something against wrong? Because you want to do something wrong? Because if, if it's against the rules, that means it's because somebody intends on wronging somebody else. Because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Well, please step aside. I'm going in. No, you're not going in. Don't touch me. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Oh. And you're using... Oh. 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 Stop, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey, you know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. Put the cuffs on them. Put the cuffs on them. What are you arresting me for? Come on up here, man. I don't like to stand here. No, you stand at this podium. I... Can you tell me what... Come on, we have to come up here. We can't record what your back. What laws are you guys operating under? The laws are the state of Kentucky. Oh, yes. Uh, as in, like, amity law, common law, statutory? Come up here and stand at this podium. I have to get you on the record so that, pe so that we can see you with your argument. Okay, well, for on the record, I reserve my right before crossing this bench. Well, I, Mr. Johnson, I really don't want uh, to create some big scene. Okay, well, Hang on for a second. I do, here, I do not want to I'm lock you up. But I may very well have to. I need for you to come up here and stand at this podium. Uh, can I just sit there and talk? So no, you cannot. Really no, you cannot. You have to come up here and stand at this podium. Here, hold on. Show me the law. This is my property. Show me the law. All right. Show me the law. Chris. Show me the law. Chris. Show me the law. Go ahead and lock her up. Go ahead and take her into custody. What are you doing? There's no one. You have no right. You sit over there, nothing wrong. You have no right, no right for that. Yeah, I'm not finished with her yet. All right. After a quick reset, the 
original defendant, Keisha Johnson, finally comes forward to the podium. You're charged with possession of marijuana, tampering with physical evidence, and possession of drug paraphernalia. I don't understand any of that. All right. Uh, well, you're charged with illegally possession mar uh, possessing marijuana. Yes, I can't stop While the judge's attention is back with Johnson, deputies in the hallway are still trying to get control of Vondran, the woman with the cell phone. Yes. I don't understand any of those charges. Well, there's not a whole lot more. There's not, not a whole lot more I can do to try to explain to okay, you. Okay, let's start here. Can you guys prove jurisdiction? Prove jurisdiction because I come in under common law. Prove your jurisdiction that you have jurisdiction over me, over this, over. Prove jurisdiction. A court cannot proceed until you guys prove jurisdiction. Show me your jurisdiction. Show me your law. All right. Uh, there are all of our laws are codified in the Kentucky Revised Statute. Show me jurisdiction. Show me the law. Hey. Here you go. Okay, that's, that doesn't prove that you have jurisdiction. Okay, so what else? Uh, and now, if there's a simple way for me to prove jurisdiction to you, I'm going to ask the deputy to go ahead and take you into custody. Under what charges? Under, your, Under what charges? You are disrupting my court. All right, we're going to pass your case to tomorrow. You guys are being mistreated and it's wrong. Under common law, under the United States Constitution, and if they keep doing this, they're letting us Keisha Johnson, fifty six. Keisha Johnson, fifty six. I don't know how familiar you are with this, but this I'm case. Familiar. Uh, Cody and Flipper. Okay. <laughs> I've heard a little bit about it okay. from yesterday. All right, so this is Miss Johnson. We'll note that she's in her, uh, custody today. She's brought over and present. And she'd like to make a statement to the court. I had time to think about it, and I believe, and I've learned that I need to represent myself in a respectable manner while in front of the judge. Okay, so obviously um, that behavior will not be tolerated that's why you ended up where you are as you could tell sovereign citizens uh, make for good content what are sovereign citizens that's a very detailed answer that I don't have all the answers to but I can tell you that they really believe that the supreme authority in the land is not local and city governments um, I believe that they only the federal government is really who they believe to be um, the governing authority of their lives um, they kind of go back to the old days where they believe every person gets a mule and 40 acres. Um, there's been a few times, and I, it's too bad I don't have this on camera, uh, where I've been stopped by some sovereign citizens I was serving, and they've gone into great detail um, explaining how they don't have to pay taxes, uh, why they don't need to have license plates on their vehicles, and just all kinds of different things. Um, it's almost uh, cultish in a way, and I hope to, in the coming months and years, hopefully have some video and stuff to really shed more light on that because it is interesting. Um, so check it out guys. I hope that you enjoyed the channel. Hope you enjoy the content today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Always make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, stay vigilant and stay alive. Thanks for joining.